Hi, I'm Kate Ward, and this is your Dickman Farms Smart Gardening Tip. And we're here in my backyard this morning. Um, it is morning, and it is in November, and very recently I have begun to feed the birds. And that's what we're talking about. Um, at the farm, um, a lot of things that we find are that gardening go hand in hand very nicely with bird watching and bird feeding. It's a very easy easy pastime and it's very rewarding. So what I want to show you today were a couple of things that make you relatively successful. You don't have to do as many things as I have here, um, but there are some th key points here that will help you to attract multiple birds if you want to get into it. So on the far right hand side here, you can see this feeder here. This particular feeder is a mesh feeder. Um, that mesh feeder is filled with um, nut meats. So we have a, a feed at Dickman's called Just Desserts and it has nut meats in it. And this hash um, sort of covering on this particular bird feeding will allow for things like uh, nut hatches and other things in the woodpecker family to grab onto here. They like these kinds of feeds. Um, they'll peck at it. They'll sit there for some time so the birds stay for a long time to look at them which is really nice. You also get the little chickadees that'll go in there. Um, there's one, exactly. So this next feeder that the little chickadee is feeding at, that has got just a sort of simple seed mixture and it's got black oil sunflower seed and some millet seeds in there. And as you can see, it's a shallow little easy feeder. You fill it from the top. And the nice thing about this is this caters to the smaller birds. It's difficult for big birds like blue jays and cardinals to get on here. Um, so they don't, and they can be a little bullyish. Cardinals are actually kind of skiddy skittish rather, but um, blue jays can be kind of a bully. So this is a nice place for those guys to get to. Now thirdly, because I do like blue jays and I do like cardinals, you'll see this feeder in the background. Again, our friend the chickadee. Um, so again, it's catering to small birds, but it also allows, it's got a big feeding port. It allows for the larger birds like the jays, like the cardinals to actually lit on there be able to get in there and to enjoy their food. So the other thing I'll show you, and again, you don't have to set up like mine, but here there's a bush around this pole. The pole happens to be my clothing line, so not terribly sophisticated, but does the job. And what it allows me to do is that I have shelter for them so the birds can feel secure in a place close by um, to be able to get to the feeders and not have to land on them. The tree in the background is just a bonus. Um, I have nut hatches that can come, and I think we have a nut hatch. Here he is. There's a nut hatch coming down the tree now um, that allows some space. They also pick bugs out of the thing. So anyways, this has been a Dickman Farm Smart Gardening Tip. I hope it gets you excited to get outside and enjoy these birds. They'll be there all winter and give you something to do while the snow is falling. And until we see you again, this has been your Dickman Farms Smart Gardening Tip.